babies are born the way you think. When your mom and dad are little, things aren't always in sync. I came out normal, if there was ever such a thing. I was more than half their size by the time of my first spring. It was hard for my mom to be a parent when she couldn't hold me much. And though she wouldn't ever dare it, she thought of giving up. All right, let's dive into the family this. behind the video. He's a big star in a little world. You hear the voice of Pete Montzingo, a social media sensation who grew up as the only tall person in a family of little people. Pete and his family embracing their unique lives and becoming celebrities on the internet and around the world. It started when Pete's YouTube channel, uh, which now has nearly 10 million subscribers. He's got more than 12 million followers on TikTok and Instagram, and he's using his fame for good with a new children's book out about being different. Little Imperfections, a tall tale of growing up different. It addresses all kinds of issues facing young people today. Pete and his mom, Vicki, are with us now to talk more about this book and about what you're doing online with those uh, creative videos. Welcome to you both. How you doing? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Merry Hi. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm so glad you're able to meet up with family during the holidays, right? We talked about all these travel delays. You two are together and, of course, uh, celebrating the season, which is great. And you're able to share your own story in this new book. Pete, tell me about what it was like to write it. Oh, man. Um, it was kind of therapeutic in a way because, you know, I had to reflect a lot of where I came from and my background and a lot of, you know, my memories of what it was like growing up in a little home as an Aversite member. I mean, I, I passed my family in height by the time I was what, like eight? Yes, at least. Yeah. So, you know, with that it came a lot of different, you know, obstacles. Um, and with that as well came a lot of like privileges. Like I would have all the upper cabinets to myself. And I would, I mean, I used to like hide candy up there and stuff. And so it came with its perks as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. But writing this book, you know, a, a lot of it had to do with, you know, I felt like I was the odd one out in my family. And I realized that in everyone's family, people might feel like, you know, they're the odd one out or a black sheep, even though, even at school or even, you know, at, a job or, you know, whatever it is. And I, I just felt like it could have been a really relatable topic that people can take, you know, take something from that and learn something and understand that it's actually a good thing. You know, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Sure. As we know, siblings are so different from one another, right? Everyone's got different personalities and sometimes you have to work through that to, to really have a good relationship. Uh, Vicki, what's it been like to watch your son grow, uh, of course, physically and then also as, as a young man? <laughs> I'm so proud of him. He's done so well. And it's been real interesting watching him do all these TikToks and things and be so creative. And the book has just been amazing to me because I've relived a lot of things again. And <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. And um, and I'm, I'm just so thrilled, you know, with all my kids. Uh, they've all just done a really good job. And I think he showcased that very well. Definitely. We were watching some of those videos. Uh, what's it been like to sort of direct your mom, Pete, as I, I'm assuming you're, you know, obviously not only the actor, but also the creative director. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for the most part. Um, that's been awesome because I could tell her what to do. <laughs> for the first time <laughs> in my life, it's been awesome. Um, no, but it's, it's, it's been good. Like, my mom and I have this really nice connection. And, like, um, I feel like even before I start like shooting something, she understands where I'm coming from. Like I don't have to like over explain myself. Um, so it's actually been really easy um, to shoot with her. And, yeah, and you get I to mean, and it's fun. Sure. Well, you get to spend time together, right? Too. You know, sometimes when you when you finish, it. yeah, when you finish up your schooling, you've got kids who who leave the house, right? And you know, you only get to see your family on the holidays. But when you're working together as content creators, uh, that's some precious time. We've got one of those clips. I want to show it for our audience. This is a, a recreation of the classic scene from the movie Elf. Let's watch. <laughs> Call me Elf one more time. He's an angry elf. Look at you! Ow! Hey, what the hell? I wasn't ready for that. You use physical.
musical comedy too. Uh, how creative, <laughs> Pete? What's it like filming with family? Oh man, well, with my mom, you know, it's one thing, but with my brother, it's another thing. It's it's a whole new beast, and in a good way. And I we're actually in South Carolina right now. We drove before the storm cross country from LA to South Carolina, and like just the first time, my brother and I have been able to shoot videos together, and um, it's been really fun. You know, we found like a common ground. We've always been so opposite our whole life and everything. And this is like the one thing that's really like brought us together. So it's cool to actually live that out. That's awesome. Um, I, I just got to say, you guys are so big on social media. Your videos just keep <laughs> racking up all the views. Have you been able to connect with your online audience in a way you, you hadn't imagined before? Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean, that's a big reason why I wanted to do the book is because, you know, I wanted to give people like an opportunity to connect more or learn more if they wanted to, you know, while also spreading awareness about, you know, dwarfism and everything as well. Because the thing is, is a lot of people are just curious about dwarfism um, who watch as well. And so it's it's a nice like teaching point for them, you know, to like let them know, you know, like the appropriate ways to talk to a short person or like how to call someone with dwarfism. Um, and things like that. So it's it's just been good all around, and I hope that they're finding things that they can take with them too. Yeah, lot, absolutely. Yeah, a lot to learn. Uh, Vicky and Pete, thanks so much for coming on and having this conversation. I know you can pick up the book on Amazon, Little Imperfections, A Tall Tale of Growing Up Different. Uh, congratulations to you both, and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take so care. nice to meet you. You too. Have a wonderful day. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.